Dr. A.W. Tozer said it like this. He said, are you sure that you want to be possessed by the Spirit who, while he is pure and gentle and wise and loving, will yet insist upon being the Lord of your life? Are you sure you want your personality to be taken over by one who will require obedience to the written word? Who will not tolerate any of your self-sins in your life, your self-love, your self-indulgence? Who will not permit you to strut or boast or show off? Who will take the direction of your life away from you and will reserve the sovereign right to test you and discipline you? Who will strip away from you many loved objects which secretly harm your soul. Unless you can answer an eager yes to these questions, you do not want to be filled. You may want the thrill or the victory or the power, but you do not really want to be filled with the Spirit. Yikes. It's difficult to argue as much as I would love to and as much as I immediately uh, uh, step into my defensive posture of, hold on a second, Aiden. Pastor Tozer, I don't know who you think you are, but the reality is he's essentially just quoting Scripture of what Scripture says, this is who the Spirit is and what He does. And I go, I don't really want that stuff I don't really want to be utterly consumed by the Holy Spirit because the reality is I know that He's going to want to change me radically. That's going to mean giving up some stuff and starting to do some stuff that I'm not super stoked about right now. We don't want to live the lives that the gospel compelled these men and women to live fully surrendered to, fully devoted to and fully pursuing Jesus in every aspect of their lives because that sounds terrifying and uncomfortable. And while we're smart enough to never say this, what I often find myself feeling and thinking as I'm, as I'm reading Scripture is what I would love is for largely my life to look exactly like it does right now but with superpowers. Right? That's what the gifts of the Holy Spirit are, right? Superpowers. So I don't, I don't really have to adjust what I desire and what I pursue. I just get to like heal people all over the place. And that's sweet. But that's not reflected anywhere in Scripture. What these men and these women experience wrenched their own self-desires from their grip and turn a guy who is so ashamed and embarrassed and fearful that he lets a junior high girl with one question make him deny his Jesus and a month later is standing in front of the most powerful men in his community who have literally the power of life and death over him and saying, do what you will, he can't stop me from preaching my Jesus. Thank you.